In a groundbreaking announcement that reverberated throughout the automotive world, Ford CEO Jim Farley recently revealed ambitious plans to resurrect the iconic Ford Ranchero. The sheer audacity of this move, coupled with a jaw-dropping target price of $10,000, marks a pivotal moment in Ford's storied history. This unexpected revival has the potential to disrupt the automotive market as we know it. The Ford Ranchero, initially introduced in 1957, was a revolutionary concept marrying the utility of a pickup truck with the comfort and style of a passenger car. Its return symbolizes a nod to American innovation and versatility, evoking a sense of nostalgia for enthusiasts and car aficionados alike. Despite gaining a loyal following over the years, the Ranchero was discontinued in 1979, leaving fans eagerly anticipating its comeback. Jim Farley's passionate announcement took center stage at the Detroit Auto Show, providing a fitting backdrop for such a significant revelation. He emphasized Ford's commitment to innovation and catering to a diverse customer base. The decision to revive the Ranchero aligns with Ford's broader strategy to expand its product lineup and adapt to evolving consumer preferences. What sets this revival apart is the remarkably affordable $10,000 price point, a bold move in an era where new vehicle costs are continually on the rise. Farley explained that Ford is tirelessly working to achieve this target by leveraging manufacturing capabilities and supply chain efficiencies. The goal is clear. Make the Ranchero accessible to a wide range of consumers, from families seeking versatility to young adults in search of their first car. The resurgence of interest in retro-inspired vehicles in recent years has created a perfect environment for Ford's decision to bring back the Ranchero. This echoes a broader trend in the automotive industry, where both domestic and international manufacturers revisit their archives to revive classic models, capitalizing on nostalgia to attract a new generation of consumers. However, Ford's revival of the Ranchero isn't a mere replication of the past. Farley hinted at the incorporation of advanced safety features, eco-friendly powertrain options, and cutting-edge infotainment systems. This fusion of nostalgia and innovation positions the Ranchero as a compelling choice for a wide range of consumers, from those who fondly remember the original to tech-savvy young buyers seeking a unique vehicle. Beyond its nostalgic appeal and modern features, the Ranchero's return addresses practical considerations. In a market increasingly favoring versatile pickup trucks, the Ranchero's compact size and car-like handling make it an ideal option for urban dwellers and suburban families alike. Its smaller footprint and affordable price point could attract a new demographic to the Ford brand. Jim Farley's announcement also sparked speculation about the potential impact on the used car market. As new Rancheros hit dealerships, vintage models may see increased demand from enthusiasts looking to capture the nostalgia of the original. This trend has been observed with other revived classics, such as the Ford Bronco and the Chevrolet Blazer. However, the Ranchero faces competition not only from other automakers, but also from within Ford's own lineup. The Ford Maverick, a compact pickup truck with a starting price below $20,000, has already garnered attention for its affordability and versatility. Ford must carefully position the Ranchero to avoid cannibalizing sales from existing models while offering unique features that set it apart in a competitive market. The automotive landscape has evolved significantly since the original Ranchero's debut. Today, consumers have a myriad of options, ranging from traditional sedans to SUVs, crossovers, and electric vehicles. To succeed, Ford must position the Ranchero as a unique and appealing choice, capitalizing on nostalgia while meeting modern consumer expectations. The success of the Ranchero hinges not only on its competition with other automakers, but also on its alignment with the changing preferences in the automotive industry. As electric and autonomous vehicles gain prominence, Ford must consider how the Ranchero fits into this evolving landscape. The company's commitment to electric mobility, evident in recent introductions like the Mustang Mach-E and the upcoming electric F-150 Lightning, suggests that integrating electric or hybrid technology into the Ranchero could be a game-changer. Ford's marketing and distribution strategies will play a crucial role in the Ranchero's success. Generating buzz and excitement through social media, advertising campaigns, and partnerships is essential to capture the attention of potential buyers. Additionally, 
ensuring that the Ranchero is readily available through Ford's extensive dealership network is crucial to reaching a wide customer base. While the return of the Ford Ranchero is undoubtedly a significant development, it follows a trend seen in recent years where automakers revive classic models from their history. The Ford Bronco's successful return in 2021 and Chevrolet's revival of the Blazer and Volkswagen's modern interpretation of the classic Beetle exemplify the potential for success in resurrecting beloved models. In conclusion, the return of the Ford Ranchero with a target price of $10,000 is a momentous announcement that has generated excitement in the automotive industry. As we eagerly anticipate its arrival, Ford's ability to strike a balance between nostalgia, practicality, and innovation will be the key factor in the Ranchero's success or failure in the competitive market. Thank you for sticking with me through this detailed exploration. Like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for more automotive insights, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video.